from one war front to another, the war in Ukraine nearing 1,000 days. And the United States has made a major change to its policy on allowing Kiev to use long-range American weapons. And this is as per multiple reports. U.S. President Joe Biden has cleared Ukraine to use U.S.-provided missiles to strike deep into Russian territory. Well, news of Biden's decision came hours after Ukraine announced nationwide emergency power restrictions from Monday. And this is after Russia launched a massive attack targeting its energy generation and transmission infrastructure. Ukraine said that at least 11 civilians were also killed in the attacks. Now, Biden's decision came in response to Russia's decision to bring North Korean troops into the fight, said one report citing officials. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has long pushed for authorization from Washington to use the powerful Army Tactical Missile System, also known as Atikins, to hit targets inside Russia. Zelensky responded to the reports in his evening address referring to the military's long-range capability as one of the main points of Ukraine's victory plan. Сьогодні багато в медіа говорять про те, що ми отримали дозвіл на відповідні дії. Але удари завдають не словами. Такі речі не анонсують. Ракети самі за себе скажуть. Обов'язково. Слава Україні. The response by Ukraine's neighbor, Poland, was more enthusiastic. Writing on social media, Polish foreign minister said President Biden responded in a language that Putin understands. The Biden administration has earlier allowed Kyiv to use the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or HIMARS, against Russian forces directly across the border. HIMARS has a range of about 50 miles. Now, Ukraine will be able to use longer-range Atikins, which have a range of about 190 miles. The decision may also come in play of the use of Storm Shadow and Scalp missiles by Ukraine. Now, the British and French militaries have given the Ukrainians a limited number of Storm Shadow and Scalp missiles. They have a range of about 155 miles less than the American missile system. The Atikins is a long-range surface-to-surface artillery weapon system that the United States has used in several wars. It is launched from the High Mobility Artillery Rocket System and Multiple Launch Rocket System M270 platforms. The missiles are expected to be used in the Kursk region where Ukraine has been fighting a Russian counter-attack. Now, Biden's decision to allow use of long-range weapons into Russia comes as Donald Trump is set to return to power in January. Trump's vice president-elect J.D. Vance has outlined a plan to end the war. It would allow the Russians to keep the Ukrainian territory that their forces have seized. Now, the Ukrainians hope that they would be able to trade any Russian territory they hold in Kursk for Ukrainian territory held by Russia in any future negotiations.